Yeah, good day YouTubers. Tinker O'Toole again with another video for the beginners out there. Today I want to talk about just putting a simple chip breaker in a bit of high speed steel. So we've got half inch high speed steel and we just ground it up. So I'm going to show you the procedure if you've got a bit of high speed steel and you want to make a reasonably good uh, cutting tip for mild steel. Mild steel's got to be the worst th thing to turn. We just turned this here. It's it's reasonable. It's not perfect, but you never get a perfect finished in mild steel anyway. So the most important thing is the the height, the center line. So that's that's all right. That's okay because we didn't grind down any off the top of the high speed steel. So what I'm going to do is just sort of show you uh, briefly what we did. So this was a square bit of high speed steel and you've got to put some relief on there, a few degrees. So this is pointing, we'll exaggerate, we're sloping backwards where my fingernail is, right? So that's where we're sloping backwards and we're also sloping downwards as well. So you've got relief there and there. Now on the side here, this is the cutting edge you've also got a little bit of a slope as well. And if you look closely, you'll see the chip breaker. Chip breaker is right there. You can change it a little bit and that little groove is just put by the edge of the wheel. So this is the cutting edge right here, not the front. This is a cutting edge at the side there. And you can hone that off on a little bit of, uh, uh, if you've got a diamond dressing stone or, or you've got an oil stone. So all as I did when I put this edge on was sit it up against the grinding wheel. The grinding wheel's got a curvature on it. So because of the curvature, it's going to grind the bottom before it grinds the top. That's generally enough clearance. Now, if you go closely and have a look, or just see if I can grab some. This is what I mean by a chip breaker. Look, it's just all chips, all right? There's no long bits on there. Now, typically, that's what a chip breaker will do. It'll break them off in a little tiny chips. So it's working okay, and it's a reasonably smooth cut. So what we'll do, we'll just set it up, put it back on there, put a bit of oil on there, and we'll do a run. Now, as I said, this steel here turns horrible, so, but it comes up reasonably good uh, using the chip breaker. On the high speed steel now just again a little bit of a few degrees angle on there for a bit of relief same as the front few degrees relief there and a few degrees relief there four or five degrees you don't need any more than that really you ain't taking small cuts you don't need anything much bigger than that okay so you can see all the little fine chips there's no large spirals like spaghetti spirals so the chip breaker works. The finish is reasonably good. The only thing that when you come to the corner, that very sharp point corner, I just use a bit of an oil stone just to get that real sharp point off and have a very, very slight radius, hardly anything. So what we'll do, we'll take off about another 10 thou and you'll see the chips. You can see they just break up very very small there's no long spirals that one's a little bit bit messy but typically the surface finish isn't too bad on that it's not too bad for mild steel so for crappy mild steel it's come up reasonably good I know the camera doesn't show it as good as what it could be but it's not too bad it's not too bad at all. So, if you want to use a chip breaker, that's up to you. It, it'll just, it just generally means that you won't end up with some spiral that's about three foot long, or you just end up with, you generally get a better finish with a chip breaker as well. So typically, this is what you're going to end up with. See, just all little bits and pieces. So, rather than some big, huge, long spiral that's three foot long, so... Yeah, so for the beginners, just remember, 
you need a little bit of a, a groove at the front because it's the side that does the cutting so the metal jumps over and goes down to that dip and it causes them to curl and snap off and uh, you usually get a slightly better finish too. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.